Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about how to uh, increase the amount of information shown on your on-screen display. We went over this in a video earlier about how to overclock your GPU and set up an on-screen display to watch things like GPU temperature and CPU temperature. But we're going to expand on that today. Um, the link to the other video is in the description below. But uh, today we're going to focus on uh, one more additional program that you'll need. And you'll use this program to piggyback and tie into everything we set up in the other video. So what we're going to be looking at today is a program called uh, HW Info or Hardware Info. Um, this program has been around for a very long time. I've used it for many, many years. But what this does is um, it allows you to install essentially a sensor suite that uh, takes a look at just about everything in terms of sensors on your motherboard, video card, CPU, hard drives, coolers, you name it, it's got it. And it's a really, really good program. And so you can download it. You can set it up to work on either an executable or a portable version. I believe I used the portable version. And it's a free program and it's great, really is great. And then the other thing you'll need that we go over in uh, the other video is MSI Afterburner. It's gonna install MSI Afterburner as well as the uh, RTSS or Riva Tuner Statistics Server. Both of those are gonna be required to do what we're gonna be doing here today. So once you have those installed, you're going to uh, run Hardware Info. It's gonna give you uh, essentially two checkboxes. You can run with uh, just sensors, just a summary, or check them both for sensors and a summary. The only thing we're worried about here today is the sensor page, which is this page that is here on the left. Now, just as a kind of a quick refresh recap, when you have MSI Afterburner running and you go into the settings and then you go into the monitoring tab, not on screen display, a little confusing, but is what it is. Inside the monitoring tab, you'll have all the different things that you can uh, select. And then down here, show an on screen display. And what that does is that sends it over to the Riva Tuner, Riva Tuner Statistics Server, uh, which is this piece of software here. And then uh, this will essentially take that information and put it in an overlay like we see here uh, in the uh, Astroneer um, uh, window. So I'm using Astroneer today just to give myself a 3D application to show us the output from um, the RTSS as well as the uh, hardware info. Uh, it'll come up on any 3D application, but I'm using uh, Astroneer just because it's a great game and I love it. <laughs> so uh, we'll minimize this. We can leave uh, MSI up. And now once you're inside of hardware info, essentially what you wanna do is you just wanna find the uh, item that you wanna monitor, the thing that you wanna keep an eye on, um, and uh, you just select it and you kinda go from there. So for now, uh, let's see, I don't know, CPU socket. Not exactly a super important one. Uh, personally, I keep an eye on my uh, water temp that's inside of my uh, Corsair all-in-one as well as the VRM temperature that is uh, on the motherboard. Uh, for those who don't know, the VRMs are essentially what send the juice over to the CPU. And so once you start getting into higher uh, core counts and thread counts, like the 9900K, that element on the motherboard um, can get stressed pretty high. And so under extensive sessions, uh, the temperatures can rise and you gotta keep a close eye on it because you don't want them to overheat because that's how you get damage. But that being said, Find the item that you want to keep an eye on and then right click on it and down here at the bottom is going to be uh, OSD RTSS or Riva Tuna Statistic Server Settings. It's going to give you a window that looks just like this one. And what you can do is you just show value in OSD. And what it's going to do is you have a couple different things here. You have your line and you have your column. And so right now we have uh, five up on the screen. So we'll put this one on six. Oh, that's right. Two of those belong to MSI Afterburner. So we're gonna bring that down to four and that should actually put it right below the frame rate. There we go. And then you can click on show label and units in superscript. And so what that does is the label will display whatever you have it named back here in the main sensor page. And then the superscript just makes the, uh, you know, the, either the temperature or the frame rate or the speed, just in a smaller font. Keeps a little bit cleaner, makes it a little bit easier to read. And then you can also select use color and change that thing away from the default color to whatever color you want. 
Um, and that's pretty much it on how you get that set up. If you want to, you can go back into the main window, right click, and then, <clears throat> and then rename. And you can name this something else. Uh, and then it'll just show up here as something else and whatever you name it as. And then if you want to reset it, you just go back and rename and just set as original and then it adjusts back as well. So that's pretty much how you set this up. You can go through all of your different sensors, set up whatever it is that you want to keep an eye on. And where this really comes in handy is when you get done with a fresh overclock, you can add all these different things to the screen while you're gaming and keep an eye on everything just to make sure everything's running stable. Um, the other cool thing that this program does is down here at the bottom, you can start logging. And when you log, uh, you can save it uh, in um, a uh, XML format bring it into um, like Excel and then you can look at your logs and so if you have an issue in a game where you know you play the game and 20 minutes in or 30 minutes in you notice that you're having uh, frame rate issues or this issue or that issue you can kind of run the log and then look for anomalies inside the data and help yourself try to troubleshoot where the issues may be coming from so all in all for uh, such a lightweight free program it is awesome so so yeah so that's the rundown on hardware info and tying it into the Riva Tuna, Riva Tuner Statistics Server, that's a tongue twister, uh, in order to get the overlays that you guys are looking for uh, in your games to keep an eye on the core components in your system to make sure they run at safe temps and they're doing what you intend them to do. So until next time, guys, make sure you be excellent. Stay humble and take care. Peace out. Later.